In this video, I want to compute the view, the portfolio variance for a true asset portfolio. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. This is the same setup that we've seen in previous questions. The same data concerning assets A and B and their behavior in the context of a portfolio where one, one occupies 70% and the other 30% of that portfolio. And this time around, we're asked for the portfolio variance. Now, I've written out data from the previous, uh, I guess, three questions that we did on this topic. So we've got the expected returns of both assets, their uh, standard deviations of return. And ultimately, what we did in the previous question, that was the covariance and correlation of those two assets' returns. And now we can put that all together to compute variance of portfolio returns. So the formula for portfolio variance in a two-asset portfolio, the one thing you really need to know, the formula you should appreciate, is given as follows. So portfolio variance sigma squared of the returns on a portfolio is going to be the weight of the first asset, asset A, squared times its standard deviation or the standard deviation of its returns squared. So basically its variance of returns plus the same thing for the second asset, its weight squared times the standard deviation of its return squared, producing a variance. And then that's not over. We still have a third component, two times the weight of A times the weight of B times, and now critically, their covariance of returns. So the cov of return A versus return B. And this is a formula I strongly suggest you know, that you commit to memory. You may be asked to perform computations based on it. So let's put the numbers in. The weight of asset A was 70%, so that's 0 0.7 squared times its uh, standard deviation, 0 0.4253, that's squared as well. Then uh, the second one was weight B, 0 0.3 square that, times its standard deviation of returns, 3.1525 square this. And we've got two times weight of A, 0 0.7 times weight of B, 0 0.3, and the covariance, which was 1.3077. This should be fine. <laughs> Let's check what comes out. Over to the calculator now. 0 0.7 squared times 0 0.4253 squared plus 0 0.3 squared times 3.1525 squared plus 2 times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3 times 1.3077. Okay, and the result I'm looking at is 1.532. Now appreciate that consistently with how we express variance, this is also in percent squared, because this was a percent squared, this was a percent squared, and covariance is expressed in percent squared anyway. So this is also expressed in units squared. Um, nevertheless, we've got a result, and that result seems to correspond very nicely with our answer B. So that's the solution to the problem.